These are supporters and members of Honorable Rotimi Olowo's political group in Shomuro constituency. Their aim is to sensitize thousands of voters and residents of Shomulu on the need to vote for the All Progressive Congress come February 25, 2023. The campaign and sensitization work organized by Rotimi Olowo, member Lagos State House of Assembly, saw constituents moved within the streets of Shomulu. The primary message to every Shomulu resident and its environs is to vote in mass for APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tunubu, come February 25th, 2023. The massive crowd was seen as early as 8 a.m. on Saturday, February 17, 2023, from Shomulu LGA to Barriga LCDA, waving and chanting songs and praises. Honorable Rotimi Olowo says, Tinubu Kashim Shetima is the best team that can change the country from its present state to prosperity. Noting that the roadwork is to remind residents to vote in mass for Ashwajibola Ahmed Tinubu and the governor of Lagos State, Babaji Sonwolu. One of the best and in Nigeria is contesting for the presidential election come uh, February 25th, and that's uh, Ashwajibola Ahmed Tinubu. is a man that you can always count on, highly dependable. He's what I call the unifier, and he's the only one that can change uh, the course of this nation from poverty to prosperity. And that's why we are here today, uh, coupled with the fact that uh, we have another sharp son, Babajide Sonwolu, who incidentally is the governor of Lagos State and is contesting for the second term and as well. I can tell you because I've been part of that government and I know what he has done to Shomolu. Uh, last year, about 14 roads. Uh, was uh, nominated by me and they are almost completed in Shomulu today. So if you could do that to Shomulu and other local governments, I know that uh, he has his scorecards and these are the people we think can change the course of this nation and the state as well. And that's why we are here, to project them as well and to, uh, to campaign for them. Reacting to the CBM policy on redesigned NERA notes, the Chairman House Committee on Finance, Lagos Assembly, described the policy as mindless due to the untold hardship it has caused Nigerians. We should not be talking about money at this critical period of our lives. People are ready to take their money to the banks. We said they cannot, they cannot, they cannot, they, they cannot save old notes. I find it very ridiculous. Look at the cost of an average woman in town, our mothers, our aged mothers, the vulnerables, those people who do not have banking experience, those people who live in the local areas in towns who are not covered by IT infrastructure, no ATM, nothing, nothing. How do you want them to survive in the next 60 days? We, we, we should be responsible and responsive to the yearnings of the people. They voted for us. We must be accountable to them. And that's why I'm saying we should vote for the man that has the cap capacity, that have the knowledge, intellectual capacity, the unifier, the man that has that uncommon capacity to unify and bring uh, intellectuals together. Please come out, vote massively for the man you think can do it, and that's as she you. As the 2023 elections approach, Olowo urged Nigerians to vote for who we called man of experience, the person who understands the economy, and the person who will cater for the citizens' welfare. He added that Lagos is too complex for a novice to govern, noting that Lagos residents should vote for the right man, which is Babaji Sonwolu.